Temple Divers 2 situation over the last couple of days, oh, kind of just with video. my fingers crossed, hoping that Sony will change their mind about the awful decision that's tanking the game. So, the thing about what Hell Divers 2 is, you know, Hell Divers 2, Sony made a stupid decision, like, hey, let's make PSN uh, a PSN account thing, a thing on Hell Divers 2. Originally, Hell Divers 2 on PC, you did not need to have a PSN account. You, you didn't need to link any external account. You didn't need to have any external extra uses in order to play the game. You just play the game with your Steam account and it will be okay. Well, Sony decided out of nowhere, like, hey, let's make users. And then they said, oh, this is originally a plan they had when it wasn't. It was nowhere stated that it originally was a plan. They said, oh, let's, let's make up a lie. And it originally was a plan to have link people link their PSN accounts to the game so they could play the game still online. And fans got mad, which I understand why, because even I don't like it when you have to log into an external account just to play a game. There's a few games I have like that on Steam and Game Pass where it's like, oh, you need to log into this external account to play the game. And I really don't like that because I like to be able to just play it off the service, play it off the service I'm playing it on. Say Steam... But now I kind of say if it's games like Final Fantasy XIV where it's an MMO and it's a paid subscription, yeah, of course I'm going to have to log in to Square Enix to play it. But when it's a simple game that doesn't need any, like, really true online component or true or, like, or the, it, even when it has an online component, it sh I should be able to use my Steam account for it and play it off my Steam account. So... So a lot of people were pissed off that Sony made this decision, and even I agree. Sometimes it is annoying having to log into external accounts, especially say when you're on when you're on set platform, and you're already like, oh, I have this set that I have to download this, such, such, such. but you have to download multiple programs on your PC in order to do it. It becomes kind of annoying; it becomes a hindrance sometimes to playing the game. You can't just simply click it and play it. So I understand why fans were mad at that, and Sony. Pretty much said, oh, we're, we're going to make this thing where now you got to log in and have an external PSN account. And they said, all oh, for network and security. We all know PlayStation Network is not secure. PlayStation Network is the most unsecure platform out of all the platforms. It has been hacked several times. It has several friends have their credit cards stolen off PSN and stuff like that. So PSN is not secure. So... Yeah, they, they were saying, oh, for network and security, yada, 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 to keep security of the fans and protect the fans of the game. We all know that's a honking load of bullshit. Pretty much Sony made that a thing and people got mad. People said, how dare you, Sony? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I know since then, Sony has reversed the decision. But yeah, we're just going to watch Charlie's video about the situation and see, see what his thoughts on it were. But unfortunately, just like my height, it hasn't changed. And now it looks like it's probably too late anyway. Even if you started putting like a rabbit's foot up your butthole for some good luck, it looks like it won't matter. Because in the words of a great man, this is democracy manifest. The game has been removed from 177 different regions from Steam. So this ship is already sailed here. For those that don't know what's going on, Helldivers 2 is one of the most successful games of 2024, a game that I was personally so excited by and happy with that I made a whole video dedicated to singing its praises and just gushing grannies over it about how rare it is for a game, especially a game like Helldivers 2, which is a live service game. And that title, Live Service, has a more negative connotation than the title Reddit Mod. And yet Helldivers 2 went on to buck every dog shit trend that the gaming industry has been shoving down people's throats and found immense success. A massive, passionate community and a huge player base. It's an incredible game and they do everything right with it in terms of how they deliver new content. It's just so good. It was positioned to just be an extremely popular game that had a very strong community forever, as long as I kept up this momentum. And yet, a couple days ago, from out of nowhere, they were able to snatch defeat from the jaws of victory, thanks to Sony, mainly. There was an announcement that all PC players that were playing Helldivers 2 through Steam would now need to link their Steam account to a PSN account in order to continue to have access to the game. 
Now, this isn't unusual, and a lot of people were quick to point out, like, gamers are just spoiled, they're making a big deal out of nothing, this is a mountain out of a molehill, what a bunch of fucking barnacles here, this is all horseradish, why are people making an issue out of it? And while they're right that it's easy to link an account and it's not unusual, it's more common than the cold, if you play a game on Steam, sometimes you'll be forced to link to, like, a Microsoft account or, God forbid, a Ubisoft account. Bro, bro, bro. It's not unusual. It is something you have to do. Like, I play Red Dead 2, I have to link it to Red Rockstar stuff. So it isn't unusual. He's right. He's right, but still, people don't like that. So, yeah. People still don't like it. People still like to be able to just have one account used for all and just easy login. So I understand it. Count. And it kind of is a mountain hall, mountain hall to nothing. Because when you really think about it, there's a lot of games that do it that really don't have anything wrong with them so but i understand gamers being a little bit upset so yeah like this does happen a lot but what they're not understanding about this case in particular is when helldivers 2 launched you did not have to do that it now we're going to get into the nitty-gritty because there were statements on the official page where you should link a psn account but they made it optional like you didn't have to, you weren't forced to, which led to plenty of people from a ton of different regions buying Helldivers 2 who do not have access to the PlayStation Network, thus they can't link their Steam account to a PSN account, meaning they won't be able to play this game going forward, and now we're reaching the point where we're at today where it's been removed from 177 different regions on Steam. So it's a massive fucking mess, and it is a headache. Like, let's just... There's no reason to tiptoe around this. No one likes having to link their account to other services. It just creates a lot more hoops to jump through. Yes, it's not a huge time investment, but it is a fucking nuisance. Especially Sony. Like, they're claiming that the reason behind this is for security. I mean, what what, what a load of hooey. Security? Sony's infrastructure is like the least secure on the planet. I'd rather link my account to a known crypto scammer mm. than link it to the Sony network. <gasps> they get hacked every couple of years like clockwork. I wouldn't be surprised if hackers started... Exactly. They really do act every year like clockwork. Every couple of years like clockwork. But yeah, but 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 but, but yeah, and I agree with really the crypto scammers in Saudi. Oh shit. But yeah. But yeah, but yeah, that, that network security was a bunch of hoopla. And there ain't no way that that's the real reason they wanted to do it. They wanted to they they they, they, they wanted to do it to watch over every player was doing and stuff like that. Like, oh, you got to play with our ecosystem because that's how Sony is. So it's like, you got to play with our ecosystem and play our game. So it's like, yeah. And then, of course, the, 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 and then of course, like you said, it, PSN is available in every region. I know there's certain regions like in Saudi Arabia and stuff like that where PSN isn't... Well, I won't say Saudi Arabia, but some regions in like the Middle East and some of these, some of these more impoverished company or impoverished countries, PSN isn't really a thing. PSN isn't really a thing. So, so yeah, so yeah, that is kind of dumb that Sony forced that upon people. And I, I didn't realize that they, they removed it from so many regions. Like that uh, sucks is that PSN stuff. I'm kind of hoping now that they reverse this and they add it back to those regions, but I think it's a little bit too, a little bit done, d done deal too little, too late, too little, too late. So yeah, it's like, it's like too little, too late to where even it can be reversed. And I think right now, Hell Dare 2 is going to have a smaller player base than what it originally had really sucks. holding their own E3 to make their upcoming announcements on the next Sony hack. It is so frequent. So it's not exactly the most secure place to hold your information. You're probably better off just writing down all your information on a piece of paper, folding it into a paper airplane, and throwing it out the window. It's probably safer that way. Like, it's, it's, it's a ridiculous claim. I think the reason that they want everyone to link their PSN account is because it looks a lot better on their bottom line earnings report when they, like, go through all of their player counts and whatever. I think that's probably the reason behind it. Of course, I'm, I'm not 100% sure why, but they seem to really be adamant about needing these accounts linked, which has completely ruined the reputation of Helldivers 2 
because it's made everyone mad. So it's been review bombed to shit. That got straight banished to the shadow realm. It used to have mostly positive reviews, like literally one of the video game industry's darlings. Now it's got negative reviews thanks to this change. And a lot of people are, are going to lose access to the game that they paid for, which is a problem. Now there is a refunds that are being offered, which a lot of people are taking. And it's just been a disaster for a game that is truly special. Helldivers 2 is such a good game, and it's now been completely tainted forever because of this decision from Sony. A fucking classic Sony L here. So let's dive into a bit more of the weeds. I actually think Ludwig did a great job covering the broad strokes of this, so I'm going to play a couple clips from his video. To the defense of Helldivers 2, this was on their Steam page since their launch three months ago. This is actually my screenshot. It says right here, requires third-party account PlayStation Network supports linking to Steam account. However, they did not enforce it. And if you go to the FAQ on PlayStation's own website, they would say signing into PSN is optional when playing a PlayStation game on PC. They have since changed this FAQ when they made this update today. And, and that's why people are, are not happy. Here's another page where it says, do I need a PSN account to play PlayStation games on PC? No, you do not currently. Now they have changed this policy and they're now saying you got to do it with certain games, including Helldivers 2, which has millions and millions of players. So as you can see, it was clearly posted that you would need a PlayStation account to play the game. However, it wasn't a rule that they were enforcing. And if you did any level of like digging on your own, you'd find that on their own official FAQs for Sony, they said that signing into it is optional. Thus, you would start to connect dots in your noodle like, oh, OK. So I downloaded Helldivers 2 on Steam. I'm not being forced to make a PSN account, thus this must be one of those games where it's optional to make one. I, I think I'll avoid doing that. I think I'll go ahead and press skip, which is something you can do or could do with Helldivers 2. So there'd be no reason for players to think that down the line they would change their, change their stance on this. Like all of a sudden, hey, now you need to sign in here, Buster. You've been breaking the rules behind our back. Because they've made it clear that it is optional in cases. And it seemed like Helldivers 2 was one of those cases, which it was. But what they ended up saying is that there was a grace period. So, like, you could initially gain access to Helldivers 2 without a PSN account. But it was only for a temporary period of time to guinea pig it to get you hooked on it. And then you'd have to, you know, get your comeuppance here by signing into PSN. Which I think is extremely misleading if that really is the case. If that was the plan from the beginning. If they had always planned to just get a huge influx of players and then just fucking bait and switch them with the PSN requirement. I think that is, like, almost criminal. Because, again, there are so many regions that had access to Steam that could download Helldivers 2 that cannot link with a PSN account, thus they're going... Yep, 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 which is dumb. It's so dumb that Sony did that. It's so dumb that Sony pretty much was like, yeah. And, they, and they, the fact that they made that hoopla about, oh, there was a grace period when there was never stated there was that. There was a Sony saying, oh, we have a grace period on Helldivers 2. There was never actually a grace period on the game. There, there was never stated anywhere in their FAQs. It was always optional. Always optional. So the fact that they were like, oh, now it's required you have a PSN account to play the game. And there are, like I said, certain regions that don't have access to PSN was bullshit. Was bullshit. Sony just, Sony just tried to eat shit. Now, I know they reversed the decision since then. But like I guess I don't know if they reverse the fact that it's removed from so many other regions. That's not I have to look more into, but I, I don't think they did. I don't think they did. I think it's something that's still too little too late for the other regions. Just because, yeah, Sony did that. So, yeah. They're going to lose access to the game they paid for. That is fucked up. That is some super scummy shit if that really is the case, if that's what Sony's long-term plan was. I, I don't know if that's the case. I don't know if this is just one of those things where they're like, okay, we, we need more juice in our PSN numbers. Let's go ahead and force the massive Helldivers community to link with us. It'll be great for our, our numbers here. Like, that's probably the most likely answer, but still. It, it is a problem. Like, it, it's not so much, again the concept of needing to link an account from steam to another service that's been here prevalent for many many years it's the fact that so many people could do it without that step and now they're retroactively adding that requirement and that makes it impossible for a lot of players 
to play the game going forward. That is the main issue here. It's fucking stupid, and it is a decision that has completely ruined the reputation of Helldivers 2, and it makes me super sad to see that, because this is a great, great game that has now just been run through the mud here because of Sony's greed. These are the current available countries where you can make a PlayStation account. There's a lot of users who play this game who cannot make a PlayStation account, thus cannot play the game legally. Now, you might think, well, how about you just make up an account? But if you look at PlayStation's own rules, they say, well, hey, you have to make an account in the country that you reside in. That's the rule here. And if you don't, we may request identifying documents to prove that you were in that country. And if we suspect that you are, are not following our terms of service, we might remove or compromise your account. We might ban it altogether. You might Damn. lose access to be able to play the game that you paid for altogether. So basically, the only way for a lot of the user base to play the game is if, if they break the rules that Sony laid out, which is a little bit fucking dumb to me. It's a little bit fucking dumb to everyone outside of the Sony stupid tank where they're in there just like, I didn't know that was a rule. I had no idea that was a rule. Do you know how many times I broke that rule? Made it count in like Japan and Europe? It's only on this stupid rule that if you make an account in a region you're not in, you can have your account banned? Oh, Sony. 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 Sony, that's dumb as fuck. That's dumb as fuck. Because now you're region locking people to the region they're in. You're region locking players. You're region locking them. When the PS5 is region free. You're region locking players. Oh, that that that's dumb as fuck. That's some dumb as fuck shit. Sony. Sony, don't. And now I understand why people are pissed that. Ghost of Tsushima now have to use the PSN shit. Because there are people in certain regions only have a Ghost of Tsushima. Because of that shit. You're pretty much region locking them out of the game. Oh god, Sony, stop this dumb, dumb Tom fuckery. Stop it. It's like actually huffing moron potions. It's crazy how they wouldn't see this as an issue. So, as Ludwig states, there is a list of every country that can have a PSN account, and there's a lot of places absent from that list that have access to Steam, have a lot of players for Helldivers 2, and will not be able to make this PSN account. The only way around it is to make a fraudulent PlayStation account, flub it a bit, which breaks Sony's rules, and you could lose your account because of that. So, they have no options except to stop playing the game that they love. It's a problem, and it's an entirely avoidable one that didn't need to happen in the first place. Sony could have just continued to ride this cash cow into the sunset. Helldivers 2 is a smashing fucking success. It is a colossal achievement, and they have found a way to wipe their ass with it. And my heart absolutely breaks for the passionate team behind Helldivers 2. Now, initially when this stuff started happening, one of the community managers kind of made a fool of themselves. I'm not even going to bother showing the screenshot. I'm sure you all know what I'm referring to here. They, they put on the clown makeup for a second. But shortly after that, they all did start wiping it off when they realized the actual problem isn't the 120 seconds it takes to create a PSN account and link it to Steam. The problem is retroactively having to enforce that rule, which kicks out tons and tons of their players. And there are plenty of players who just do not want to make a PSN account because it's not a secure database. Like, I think that's also a totally fine perspective yeah, to have. Because yeah, they do get hacked all the fucking time. So, like, they get hacked more than, like, a terminal in Fallout 3. So, like, I do get that perspective for people that just yeah. do not want to do it because they want to keep their data safe. Thus, they're just going to drop Helldivers because they don't want to deal with PSN. But the core of it, it's just the principle of Sony coming in here and ruining the fun. Changing something that didn't need to be changed in the first place. They could have just sat back, put their hands under their thighs, kicked their legs in their corpo high chairs, and just been like, 
you know, hey, we're happy Helldivers is bringing us so much money. Thanks for doing all the hard work while we just get a royalty on it. Like, it's, it's, it could have been so easy. It was so easy. And now they've made it really hard for themselves, and in the process, they have tanked an incredible game's reputation. But anyway, that's kind of the gist of this situation here. I don't think Sony's going to walk back these changes. I think it is too late for that, since it's now been removed from Steam in so many places. I just don't see them changing their mind on it. And I think Helldivers is going to continue to kind of bleed out here as more and more people leave. And it just, I don't know, that sucks. It's such a good game, and it just didn't yes, have to be it. this way, Sony. You killed it. You took it behind the barn and you put it down. Oh, <laughs> it, just, it, it was so unnecessary. But anyway. Sony, 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 Sony. Sony not being smart. Uh Hooey, gamers want Sony though. We'll watch. Uh... Yeah, that that was just a stupid situation by Sony. I think they reversed it since then. We might watch Mudahar's video, some ordinary gamers video on it. Check and see if the reverse decision was made and it's been added back to those regions. So I do want to check and see that. I think after I think we'll watch that video after we get through watching this video. But uh, I think the I think I think honestly that was just a stupid. This has been a stupid week for gaming. Just stupid and dumb week for gaming. I mean, gaming this week made the most stupid decisions. Microsoft shutting down studios. Sony Sony making the Hell Divers two and a Ghost of Tsushima decision that pretty much just fucked them all over. Just everything like that. I mean, this this has been. The most stupidest, dumbest week for gaming. So, yeah. Be sure to like, subscribe, and follow me on Twitch to join the Shadow Dynasty today.